a love in the time of royalty. Prince's wooing and marrying, Loli, loss is pretty much the stuff of fairy tales, so it makes perfect sense for TV execs to want to jump on the horse and carriage and make specials about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's romance. Ahead of the main upshells, here's a calendar of televised events you won't want to miss if you're a fan of chiffon on a royal scale. Lifetime's Harry Relatively unknown Scottish actor Murray Fraser will play the red-headed prince and does an uncannily good take on Harry's voice, and Midnight, Texas's Parisa Fitzhenley will play Markle, while Australian actress Burgess Abernethy, age 20, just add water, and Laura Mitchell, Menendez, Blood Brothers, will portray their in-laws-to-be, Prince William and Duchess Kate. The illustrious event is set to take place in spring, sometime before the big day. Markle's last episode of Suits This will most likely be the last time you'll see Markle on screen in a non-official capacity, visiting sick kids or opening a museum on behalf of the royal family, so you'd better tune in. Markle's stint on USA Network's hit legal drama is coming to an end with the second half of season 7 dropping April 25th. Markle is set to wed on the show too, as her character Rachel and BF Mike Patrick J. Adams, head down the aisle. Oh, and we have a photo of that moment, see more here. ITV's invitation to a royal wedding The British Network cordially invites you to the big day, well, kinda. It's a British network, so this may not be available stateside. Still, the documentary will dive headfirst into taffeta, traditions and everything else it takes to plan a royal wedding extravaganza at Windsor Castle. The series includes interviews with those accustomed to planning events on such a grand scale. Sounds divine. Hope we can watch it. Fox's Meghan Markle, an American princess The Story of the Bride to Be comes at you on May 11th, just a week before the official I do's, in the form of a two-hour special from Fox, in case you need it to cram in some Markle facts before the big day. The documentary will feature behind-the-scenes action, archival footage and apparently inside scoop from people who know her best, so get ready to hear from her third-grade teacher and her one-time hairdresser. Kidding. The special has actually rounded up Markle's half-sister, Samantha, journalist Piers Morgan, of course, Princess Diana's former butler, Paul Burrell, and Dickie Arbiter, Queen Elizabeth II's former press secretary to spill on Markle. The royal wedding um, it's the main event so set your DVRs now. The pair will tie the knot on May 19th at St. George's Chapel, inside the grounds of Windsor Castle. Lucky for all of us, the wedding we all wish we could attend will be televised on various networks, with proceedings kicking off at 7 a.m. E.T. The hour-long ceremony will be followed by a carriage procession as the now-married duo makes its way back to Windsor Castle along the long walk with 2,640 people being invited into the grounds of Windsor Castle to watch. Guests, maybe including the Spice Girls, will then gather at St. George's Hall for the reception, minus television cameras, though, boo. Look up those scone recipes now, the big day will be upon us before we know it. People's The Story of the Royals If you don't want to feel alone in your royal obsession, People and ABC are here to help with a two-night television event airing in August that showcases the key figures in the line of succession, Queen Elizabeth, Prince Charles, Prince William, and Prince George, and also leans into the excitement of the May wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and the birth of William and Kate's third child in April, People is known for its extensive coverage of the royal family by reporters who are experts in the subject matter, said Jess Cagle, People's editor-in-chief and EW's editorial director. Our aunts can't get enough of the royals, they continue to attract interest with each new generation. Clearly.